All right, listen, today we gotta tell everybody about the five big benefits of fish broth. And then we're gonna give them a little recipe so they can prepare it for their dogs too. You can't be the only one who gets it, okay? So first, fish broth is just like regular broth, except we're gonna use fish bones. Specifically, we're gonna use all the leftover parts. So you can use salmon heads, shrimp shells, um, basically anything that's left over from cooking sardines or any other type of fish. The only thing you want to avoid before we get started with the benefits is avoid using clam shells, oyster shells, mussel shells, because those are pure calcium, which sounds like it would be a good idea, but as they degrade in the broth, it's going to make it super chalky. And while they're probably not going to be as concerned with taste, it's going to make it very gritty and it may even be too much. So let's avoid any of the oyster, clam, or mussel shells, okay? You ready to go? You ready for benefit number one? Let's do it. And benefit number one is one of your favorites because it helps you feel better, collagen. Now, collagen is found in all types of broth and it is particularly powerful in fish broth. It is highly bioavailable and will help your dog's joints, their gut health, and when you help their gut health, you also help their immune health. Their eyes, their skin, their fur, everything will improve with collagen. Fish broth, top source of this. Now, study after study after study over the last few decades has shown just how powerful collagen is in restoring joint health, connective tissue health, right? Helping senior dogs and senior people and dogs of all ages feel better, move better, perform better, feel more playful. And again, as we said, when you help gut health, you're also helping immune health, and collagen is one of those things, especially when it's taken from a bioavailable source, like from a broth, fish broth in this case, it's going to help heal any problems in the gut lining, which will improve immuno health, helping seniors feel better. That brings us to number two, and I love this for senior dogs, especially when the weather gets warm, but also when the weather's a little bit cooler too, and that is electrolytes. Now, when you put the right vegetables in your fish broth, Along with what's coming out of the bones, you're going to get potassium, vitamin C, some magnesium, all the things that a senior dog needs to stay well hydrated even when the weather gets warm. And obviously, because they love the taste of fish broth, very easy to get seniors, even seniors who don't like drinking water, to stay hydrated even in the hottest days of summer because it's a good taste and they pull these electrolytes in and this is directly tied to benefit number three, which I think you'll also like, and that is mineral mania. So besides potassium, you're also gonna get magnesium, calcium, and super beneficial iodine, which has so many health benefits for dogs. And the best part of this, the minerals that come from fish broth are super easily digested and absorbed and used by your senior dog's body. That is super important because mineral supplements are great, even calcium supplements, but when you take it directly from the source, bones, and when you're using good parts, like say, as we're gonna use in the recipe today, salmon parts, you can use sardines, anchovies, regular fish, whatever fish, the calcium will leach into the broth and it goes directly into your dog's system where they can use it. Same for the iodine, the magnesium, potassium, zinc. It is quite literally mineral mania. And speaking of bioavailable, number four is bioavailable protein. Yes, even the broth will have highly bioavailable fish protein. Which while biologically isn't as high on the scale as milk or egg protein, it is still super useful for dogs. And with senior dogs, we always wanna give them really easy to digest protein sources. One, because it takes it easy on their belly. Number two, the more protein they can use, even if they're on a ketogenic diet, which is a little bit lower in protein than say a moderate carb diet, you want the protein that they are getting to be super easily absorbed and used by their muscles, their joints, their brains, their bellies, their entire body. And of course, we can't talk fish broth without talking about benefit number five, omega-3 fatty acids, again, in a super highly bioavailable form. Omega-3s have a ton of benefits, as you're seeing on the screen, but they can fight chronic inflammation, improve brain health, improve organ health, gut health, muscle health, joint health, the inflammation reduction power of omega-3s is what makes them such a valued ally in the fight against doggy cancers as well. 
In fact, omega-3s are often used in conjunction with chemotherapy or radiation to help fight off uh, cancer cells, but protect their bodies from the side effects of chemotherapy. The omega-3s in fish broth also help fight high triglycerides and can reduce blood pressure as well. Now, these aren't things we often think about with senior dogs, but remember, as they age, any of the problems that will affect um, older humans can also affect older dogs, and we wanna keep them as healthy as possible, right? Right? Okay. So, the next important question is, how do we make fish broth? You ready to go show them? Show the recipe, tell them exactly which vegetables to use because that is super important. Okay, so this is super easy. All you need are some fish parts, good water, preferably uh, a spring water that you buy from the store, if, especially if your tap water isn't very good, some sort of acid like apple cider vinegar, perfect for this. Then you wanna pair it with vegetables that bring out the best nutrients in fish broth. So. The ideal recipe will call for three. One, red cabbage. Why? It's loaded with polyphenols. It's loaded with antioxidants. And this will help protect some of those very delicate omega-3 fatty acids. The second thing we wanna to add to it, a squirt of tomato paste because we're gonna get lycopene, another powerful antioxidant. And again, we're protecting the omega-3s in the liquid. We also wanna potentiate the uptake of this nutrient in your dog's body. The third vegetable in the ideal fish broth recipe will be either pumpkin or carrots, depending on what you have. We're going with an orange vegetable because we want an abundance of vitamin A in this recipe to help with the absorption of some of the minerals and also to, again, protect your dog's immune health. All you have to do is put the fish parts into a crock pot, an Instapot, a slow cooker. You can do it on the stove top as well because fish broth does not take as long as say bone broth using beef or pork bones simply because the bones are much smaller and overcooking fish broth can actually make it taste pretty badly so all you have to do throw all the ingredients in again avoid clam oyster and mussel shells you can use shrimp shells you can use parts from pretty much any type of fish heads tails scales bones add the water add the apple cider vinegar or whichever type of vinegar you're using add the vegetables Cook it on low for four to six hours in a crock pot or in an Instapot. If you're doing it on a stove top, cook it on low heat again for about two to three hours, depending on how powerful your stove is. After that, you can add it to their meals. You can give it to them warm and in a dish as a, as a drink. They'll love that. Or if it's very hot outside and you wanna freeze it in ice cube trays and then give that as a treat during the summer, add a pinch of sea salt and you will have the absolute perfect electrolyte supplement and a way to cool your senior dog's body down. Thank you. And they will not only get their electrolytes, they'll also get those omega-3s and this is absolutely vital for senior dog health. Now, what do we wanna teach next? What do we wanna show everybody? The regular bone broth recipe? I think so. So go ahead, click right here, probably hovering over my face is the recipe for bone broth using pork bones. Check it out. And we will be back next time with more recipes for you and your senior dog. Ah.